They've led their team into the championship of this tournament. Look what these guys have done in two games. Well, they, Wesley Whiting, they're putting up points. They're all shooting 50% or right close to it. And look what they did in the semis, Bob. They scored 66 of their 77 points against Wyoming, which is what Wyoming had total as a team. Jump shot, New Mexico is on the offensive end. Trent Whiting, the entry for the league's player of the year, McKelly Wesley. He just backs up and drills it. Brian Smith couldn't get out there to cover him. McKelly Wesley, four for five from three-point range last night. Then else, Montague, two Whiting, and Reuben Douglas with a nice stop on him. Wesley over Smith, knocks him down, knocks down the shot. I tell you, McKelly Wesley is one of the toughest players there is in this league. Lede, watched by Lightfoot. Farmer trying to help out. Shot clock at 10. Almost nine minutes in. McKelly Wesley for three. This guy is something else. Last night, four out of five from three-point range against Wyoming. He and Terrell Lede just killed the Cowboys. Back dribble, step out, knock down shots on you when he has to. He can go through your chin, to the rim. He's got that in his game. And he's also made 33 point shots on the year. He's versatile. He's a blue blazer guy on the offensive end. And you've got to have a blue blazer defender to match up with him for 40 minutes. Not a lot of guys can do that. Yeah, we saw Brian Smith in trouble when McKelly takes him out near the arc. Did he good shooting so far. First two games of this tournament, McKelly Wesley, 13 against Air Force. He was 7 of 9, and then he had 23 points against Wyoming, 4 out of 5 from 3-point range. Shot. Then he kept it alive. Loose ball for Tent Whiting. 25 balls, 4 minutes to go. He finds Wesley. Somebody lost McKelly Wesley. And the big fella's got nine to go with his six rebounds. And somebody didn't stop. But it clogged up the middle on Marlon Palmer. Whiting looking for McKelly Wesley. Turning the face on Brian Smith. Six. Look at McKelly Wesley. He really posts with a passion for that basketball. And that's what you want. If you're if you're a post player and you don't play like that, Bob, you're selfish. Look at that. There's Wesley. a finish off the cause of it. He sealed off Brian Smith. All in go. 15.38 remaining as the Cougars look for their first NCAA since 95. Tom Kelly West is a kid that understands don't fight pressure with pressure. He knows how to pick and choose his spots, but when he does pose and does make a move, man, he does it with power and a passion. And and you, you love guys like that. If you're guarding McKelly Wesley, you don't lace him up. They can come out and guard you by hitting a couple of those shots. BYU's a club that they're going to stay in character. They're going to stay in rhythm. They're not going to get them to do something they don't want to do on the offensive end. Oh, he gets it to go down. And Kelly Wesley, a good feed from Terrell Day. That's nothing but strength coupled with skill right there. And tag it with a big Valentine. Well, he's bringing to the floor this evening. You see the pass from the day. They charge out of him because he's a three-point shooter. And Wesley catches it and doesn't get in a hurry. He knew the contact was coming, but he still took his time to get his feet underneath him in that power position and then go right up to speed up his decisions with the basketball because if he backed off of him and playing to contain, he did room to operate. Well, the day. Jackie is watching him. Sorella Day has not scored, by the way, in this half. Kelly Wesley. Waylon White, can he stop him? No. McKelly with 16 now. 10 for Waylon White. You got to collapse on him. You got to surround him. You got a monster. Wesley waiting underneath. He makes it go five. He's seventh all-time on the BYU scoring list with his 18 tonight. He has scored 1,600. Well, he's over 1,700 now, 1,705 points. He's also number three all-time on their free-throw made list. He's Steve Pincock, tending to him. You're looking for that contact. I think so. Well, trying to see if it's in there. 17 a game, fourth in the league, 18 now tonight. He was chosen the All-Mountain West Player of the Year by the coaches. The 12 offensive rebounds before that. BYU just unable to pull away from New Mexico. So Kelly Wesley, Dennehy, and Wesley keeping his rhythm beautifully. And a 
big time drop step. He's got 20. The bench to score 10 points in this tournament. How about the future in New Mexico? All the guards are back. They had another really good one in CQ Carey to transfer from Washington. He just had another year for a guy like Denny who can go. But right now, McKelly Wesley is taking the freshman, putting him on the bus, telling him to set in the back and drive him. <laughs> He's got 22. One less than he scored against Wyoming last night. We've got 8.15 to go. Double NCAA is George Mason, Western Kentucky, Georgia State, and Gonzaga. Good position by McKelly Wesley. He's set. Boom, the contact comes. That was a charm. Leland White fronting him, grabbing him, trying to stay with him any way he can. Some help down there from Brian Smith. Leday, it finds McKelly Wesley. Looked like it was going to be a turnover. And there's foul number four on Leland White. He fouled out both times these clubs met during the regular season. McKelly Wesley has just a little bit too much sand in his dump truck for New Mexico to match up with the entire 40 minutes. He's strong, he's smart, he understands angles. He's got good head fakes and ball fakes, and that time, Waylon bit, and Kelly goes to the charity strike. How do you get off the floor with all that sand? That's what I want to know. <laughs> That's heavy <laughs> stuff, good man. Job doing it. <laughs> but Kelly Wesley at the line, mentioned earlier, number three all-time. Free throws made at BYU. Seventh all-time on the scoring list. Went over 1,700 tonight. He's got 23. Done in a lot of a lot of ways. I mean, pretty much it's been a lot of power stuff on the interior. He can face up from about 15 and then understands all the angles and footwork. The little jump hook shot that you don't see enough of, I think, on the college level. He's got it all. In the last season play last year, they belong at worst in the NIT next week. Take Wyoming Cowboys. Let them play at home a couple of times. They could go all the way to New York. Here's McKelly Wesley joined the double. Oh, he gets it to go in on a foul by Brian Smith. And he struts his stuff to the tune of 26. Never changes expression throughout this ball game. He knows the importance. He knows what at stake. You're not going to leave anything up to judgment by any committee if he has anything to do with it. See how he doesn't get in a hurry and he reads. As soon as that defender starts coming down to help from the top side, <laughs> he spun baseline and Got a prayer answered on that one. I don't know what you call that strut he did. Maybe pushing the wheelbarrow. I don't know. <laughs> but he's got 27, and BYU leads by five. Ball. He'll Who's take his least two plus. Whiting to the left wing. McKelly Wesley. Brian Smith trying to keep him from going baseline. Dunks. Palmer the help. Montague on top. Back to Wesley. Shot clock at 10. He scores! 29 for McKelly Wesley. BYU by four. BYU by one! Has to go home. 18.9 to go, and the Cougars will throw it in under their own basket. Now remember, if they have a hard time getting the ball in bounds, they've got two timeouts remaining. New Mexico has to make a play as a defensive unit. They're behind, and the time's going to get them if they don't. So once you get it in, you're going to have to foul, and there they go.